The more I see of this castle, the more I'm starting to wonder whether the undead we've encountered along the way here were actually natural occurrences at all. Well, as natural as undead can be anyway. Perhaps they were all created by Strahd himself, unleashed upon the populace to keep them in check and make sure that his regime remains unchallenged. As terrible as that thought is, Valica, I too have pondered it. It would also be a great way of getting rid of enemies of his regime. Not only that, he could then order the undead to other places and claim that his agents had dispatched them, thus ingratiating himself to the populace. He could maintain a facade of a kind and courteous and considerate ruler, all while being the very terror that plagues their nightmares. As much as I'd like to think that Strahd is the one that created all of these, and thus killing him would end their threat, I don't think that's the case. What makes you say that, Hollow there's an evil about this realm, an evil unlike any I've felt before. I, I couldn't entirely sense it when we first got here, but the longer I've been here, the more I can feel it. My hair stand on end, my, my mind rushes with all that is wrong with this place. No, the undead are coming to be because the land wishes them to demands them to. Defeating Strahd would probably alleviate the problem a little bit, but there's just something altogether cursed about Barovia. And I... the more I'm here, the more I'm wondering whether it will affect us. It won't affect us. You know that our gods will protect us. I hope so. I really do. Let's... let's just get this over with, shall we? Aye! Aye, I don't want to be in this larder any more than you do. We haven't even found any good wine. <laughs> if we do find some kind of habit, you can take all the wine you want. I doubt Strahd's going to be drinking it, unless it's got blood in it. I'll have to read the labels. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ravenloft Strahd's Possession. And Wait, last we left off, we are currently in the Larders of Ill Omen, which contains skeletons, and whites, and vampires. So two out of the three enemies here so far can drain levels. Let's go up here and probably regret it. Not as much as I thought I would. There's a white, but the white can't get to me. Oh, the white can get to me. I, that was the second one being there that caused that. Did you lose your... Nope, and nope. Excellent, we are still safe. While we're here, let's check your experience. You need loads, you need quite a lot. You don't need that much um, experience to be a level 9 wizard. As for you, you're nearly to level 7, which is awesome. Now there's a way... Oh. You're definitely going to be able to get over to there. The door is shut now, which is actually kind of handy. Or is it because of the moment I appeared to be... Nope, for a moment there, I was stuck. But turning around got me out of there. And you are stuck, which is good. Just take care of you. I imagine level 9 is likely the cap for experience in this game. Wouldn't be surprised considering how much experience we need to get there. I'd still like to get there nonetheless and see what awesome abilities Gerard will gain. This brings me to a room that doesn't really contain anything, also we can apparently see beyond that door. Ah, more stairs up. Right, let's mark these. These are stairs up. Excellent. And before we go into this next room, we are definitely going to save because I hear even more whites. And if there are two of them, that means we're going to have to have at thee. That's what we are pretty good at having at thee with them. Yep, there's two. You're gone. And that means we can safely take care of you. We want to read in a place like this. Strahd, maybe. The seclusion the underground passages. There's a quiet about it, when the undead aren't about. I wouldn't want to read here, that's for sure. There's nothing here at all. I'm starting to wonder whether this area is literally a uh, throughway for 
other locations in the main floor. You head down, and then you head up. It could be. The only way for me to find out is to keep going this way and probably regret it. Also, we need to uh, mark the stairs here. There they are. And this way we go. Any enemies down there? I see some, so we're going to uh, anger them last. Hello, skeletons! Now, we do need to watch out about the skeletons, because they will also deal with the negative plane protection. Scroll of Ray's Dead, just in case we need it. I really don't want to need it, but it may happen. Right. Oh, hello, skeleton! Glad you missed. You know, I should probably just deal with these undead right now. We do have fireballs. We do have fireballs. They'll probably be useful. What kind of undead? Oh, they're not undead. They're barrels. Okay, I thought they were undead. They're just barrels. Oh, this game's playing tricks on me. It's making me expect enemies when they're not there. Well played, barrels. And these are when... They're barrel mimics, and uh, we get killed by them. Could happen. We opened that door, didn't we, by mistake? In here is... Okay, this is a double room, and there's nothing in here. Oh, let's get out of here, me. There we go. Oh, there we go. Right, there's still this way here that leads to... More stairs up. Okay. Mark these down. Stairs up. And we have the end of the ladder likely here. And this is when there are even more doors. There could be. Oh, skeletons! Did we get rid of both of them there? I think we did. Alas, no wine of a vintage I care for. No wine at all. A pity, but to be expected, considering. Let's check out these stairways. I agree. The one we just encountered is a good place to start. And before we go up, let us save. Back up to the main floor. And to a place we haven't been to before. Well, that's some... Oh! Well! That's... That's terrifying. That's a zombie golem. Okay. Huh. That's a problem. Right, gonna need a couple of fireballs for you. Or just to be a little bit more lucky. Oh, wow! Okay, this is just an exceptionally powerful foe. Okay! Okay. Huh. That's... a challenge I wasn't expecting. It just hits super hard! Like, just takes out Vulcan and, and, um, Gerard in one hit apiece. Okay, suddenly super, super difficult opponent. Super difficult opponent. I'm trying to think what I could even use against it. Huh. I've got to go that way, though. I feel like I've got to go that way. Maybe actually having the, um, the shield equipped here might be a good idea. Let's actually equip the shield right now. The shield might make a difference. Minus five armor class is probably a good thing. And again, giving you the shield would give you zero. That's probably better. Let's give that a go. A little bit less damage for a little bit of protection. That said, minus three didn't really do that much. So if we move forward, 
We have fireball ready. We could back up and see if you'll follow us. You won't, but we're going to immediately be in trouble when we head up. So this is a problem. Because you're right there. Oh yeah, you, you just destroy us. Oh wow, okay. No dealing with you right now. Let's not go that way. Let's not go that way and instead head a different way, like up there, where there aren't zombie golems. Wow! There's something I'm clearly missing when it comes to fighting zombie golems. That cramped space just makes it so difficult to, uh... And they move very quickly as well. What I really need is a place to trap them. Is this a place that has zombie golems? No! Just gargoyles! I can deal with gargoyles! Gargoyles are much easier! You as well! Also very easy! I mean, you hit moderately hard! There's another enemy around here. No! Actually dealt with all of you! Oh, oh no! There's an enemy right there! And there we go! Much better! We're going to have to deal with those zombie golems at some point, though, aren't we? Yes, we probably are. Okay. There's a trap here. I'm not a fan of this at all. Agreed. That's something we're probably going to have to navigate. There is a stairway leading up, though. Maybe we should check that out first. Can't hurt. Let's head up and... End up here. With you. And you. Okay, there's a lot of them. But we can deal with them all. Eventually. They do hurt. They do hurt. But... Is there another one? Yes, there is. Okay. Big room taken care of. Wrong thing uh, pressed there. We'll do some healing. And have a look at the map. We're in the Court of the Count here. Maybe that connects up to there? No, it actually doesn't. Okay. Let's actually go back and try that trapped area. Let's also see if there's any hidden walls or anything that we can uh, go through. Why not? There's nothing here. And nothing here, I imagine? No. No, I thought for a moment there there was something. I was hoping for a way to bypass this trap, but... I don't think it's going to be one. Also, that roar, that roar is of the zombie golem. And that zombie golem, just, just literally like smashing our head on a wall. Nothing we did there was helping us. We attacked, we used fireballs, none of it worked. How am I going to deal with them? I bet there's going to be more than one of them as well. I bet there's going to be more than one. And this is when the game goes, well, you, you just kind of have to use Ray's Dead. And I'm like, no, I absolutely refuse to. We should probably have a negative plane protection cast as well. Just in case there are any vampires or whites. So, let's save now that we've done all that. that potion? Probably not. We could probably avoid the, uh, like that. Grab that. And there we go! We made it. We did, but what was our reward for doing so? More healing? Or 
for healing. I'm not gonna say no. Grab this. Grab that. Game's giving us a lot of healing. It's almost like it knows. Hey! Zombie golems. And I nearly got hit by that lightning bolt, but nearly is not close enough. Right, we've done that. So, we can head up now, but actually, do I want to head up at this point? Let's go back. Very quickly. I think we're there. Also, there's more, um... There's the stairs down, rather. So we should probably put the stairs down on the uh, map, so that I don't forget them. So those are stairs down. Gonna wait for the lightning bolt. Do I want to head up? I should probably actually explore the other areas first. Right, let's go. Down. Ignore the one that has the... Uh, uh, yes, ignore that one. Ignore that one. Zombie golem, no thank you. I highly hope we have to go there another time, far later, and we're better prepared for it. I highly hope that's the case. Let's go this way, and down here. This is when there are more zombie golems here. I'm gonna save again. We ready? Ready as I'll ever be, Gerard. Let's go. Oh, this actually just leads to here. So it's actually the other stairway that I want to, uh... That I want to go down. This one. So let's use that one instead. That was me forgetting which doorways I've been through, but this does mean we have an avenue of exploration this way. Up. Which leads to... Oh! That's just another way to here. Okay. So, that's a stairway up and a stairway down. Those lead to the Count Court. These lead somewhere we haven't been to yet. So let's go to those ones and have a look at them. This is when there's a particular order that you should be going through all of these, and I'm doing it completely wrong. We'll go to the one that is down first. Why not? Up here, which leads to... Hmm. I was about to say it's too quiet, and then that happened. I hope they're alright. Doesn't sound like they are. So, further up we go. This leads to... More room... These are the rooms of weeping. That's... Not encouraging. And this leads further up to... Here. To a uh, Doom Guard. And another Doom Guard. And something we need to open with a key. Okay, let's see what you can do, Velika. Can you open this? Wait. Wait a moment more. I've heard every bolt but one within Miss Lock click to our favor. There you go! We're in! The advantage of having a... Rogue. Let's go. Nicely opened. Thank you. I take pride in my skills. Another... Hopefully it'll be two for two. We can only hope. Let's give it another go, shall we? Hmm. This one's proving tricky. There we go. Two out of two. Excellent. That may save us a lot of time. Let's go up and see what is here. Is it going to be another one of these? 
Oh, it's a huge group of Doom Gods. We can deal with Doom Gods, though. And another locked door. Oh, game. How many of these are we going to face? This is when this is the infinite tower of locked doors. Tis a shame. A waste of some of my best tools. I'm afraid my picks have broken in this attempt. Oh! So they can break. I wonder if it's like a finite number of failures. Nope, it's just random. Okay. It's just random. Right, from now on, save before I do that. And this leads to another trio of Doom Guards. Add a switch. And a captive. And so, when we come back, folks, we're going to see about freeing that captive, because of course we should. And then, we'll explore the other tower. Maybe we'll find someone else captive there that needs to be freed. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.